Meeting with your congressional office can be meaningful, empowering, and fun. In this video, you'll learn about the five basic elements of a congressional meeting, and we'll share two post-meeting tips that are often forgotten, but super important. Before we describe a typical congressional meeting, you should know that many of the meetings are not typical. They often vary in flow, length, and location. For example, the member or staff person may lead the meeting or look to you to start. On busy congressional days, your meeting may take place in the hallway or in the office lobby. And while your meeting may be scheduled for 30 minutes, most meetings last between 10 and 20 minutes. No matter how the meeting starts, where it takes place, or how long it lasts, it will be impactful. Now for the five parts of a typical congressional meeting. Start with a short introduction. In a sentence or two, describe who you are, where you are from, and your connection to SMA, whether an individual with SMA, family member, researcher, or healthcare provider. If you reside or lived in the member's district or state, be sure to highlight that in your introduction. You can also consider asking the staff person that you are meeting with where they are from, as many come from the state their bosses represent. It's a nice way to connect with that staff person. Next, briefly describe SMA. A short overview will be helpful, even for members and staff who have some knowledge about SMA. This is a good opportunity to weave in a personal example or experience. Now, describe the issue or legislation you came to discuss, such as barriers to air travel or legislation related to accessible and affordable housing. While you may care about many topics, we recommend sticking to a single issue in a meeting, two at most. In addition to describing the issue, be sure to convey why the issue matters to you. Include a personal experience related to the issue. Feel free to bring a photo or other small item that may help you tell your story. After you've described the issue or legislation, close the meeting with an ask, which is the most important part of the meeting. This is the action you want the Congressional Office to consider, such as composing legislation or funding a key program. We encourage you to practice what you want to say to make sure your message is effective and concise. Given the ask is the most important part, be sure you don't run out of time before sharing it. In other words, keep the other parts of the meeting, your introduction and background, short. The meeting should end with an offer to answer any questions. Keep in mind, the issue you raised may be new, and so the member or staff person may not have any questions. Following the question and answer session, thank the office for their time and be sure to collect contact information for the individuals you met with if you do not already have it. Don't worry if you are unable to cover each of the items in your meeting. Simply educating about SMA is a win. Now for two final bonus tips, the items that are often forgotten but super important. Even if the meetings end with a verbal thank you, we highly encourage you to send a follow-up email or letter to thank the office for their time. This is also a good opportunity to summarize, in a sentence or two, your meeting ask. If possible, send this follow-up note within one week of the meeting. Next, please reach out to Cure SMA Advocacy to let us know how the meeting went and if there are fact sheets or other follow-up items Cure SMA can send to the office. This allows Cure SMA to reinforce your meeting goal and ask. That's it. You now know everything you need to run a successful congressional meeting. Like most advocates, you will be so energized and empowered by the experience that you will want to do it again. And you should. Meet with all of your members of Congress on the issue and stay active throughout the year. Please contact Cure SMA Advocacy if you need assistance during this process. And be sure to sign up as a Cure SMA Advocate and to stay engaged throughout the year. Thank you for your interest in advocacy.